can I tell you about something? In the past, I enjoyed doing what was wrong. You know, you may look at me now and believe, Kevin, I believe you have been with God for almost your whole life. No. In the past, I enjoyed doing bad things. I used to like not really getting drunk. I never really enjoyed getting drunk. Especially throwing up and stuff like that afterwards sometimes. I did not like that too much. You know, I never really was a drug and alcohol person. For me, I was into other other things. I was into going to clubs, dance clubs, whatever they are called. I was into, back then I saw at least in my day of age or in my time, I think much of my peers Maybe some, I think many placed much emphasis upon how many women you were able to get. I guess the mind frame back then, or maybe it is still that way now, the more women you are able to get, I guess the more manly it made you, or you are that much more of a man by being able to get many women. So if you were to get I guess I can say quality women and multiple of them, I guess that made you a better man. So I guess with guys with low self-esteem, as myself back then, you know, I studied, yes, I studied and test it and whatever else, trying to get, in the effort of trying to get more women, I guess quality women. So I was going to, I guess, dance clubs, clubs, sometimes restaurants, in pursuit of getting more and more women. Do you know about Pokemon? At least, I don't know how Pokemon is now, but I think back in, back when I was around in sixth grade or whatever, I think Pokemon was about getting more and more as many as you can like trying to catch them all see i was not trying to catch them all but i was trying to catch many many women for some reason you know i wanted to be accepted i guess with certain people so 
if they said or if it was implied the more women you get the better man you are you know I wanted to reach that goal anyways this is not really my main point so anyways I was into really sinful things and um, something happened you know I was sinning and sinning and sinning something happened to where I could still sin but I could not sin as freely like I could still sin but not exactly as much as I wanted do you understand what I am trying to tell you and a disease came upon me to where it made it difficult at that time for me to sin as much as I wanted. And back then I thought it was horrible for me not being able to sin as much as I wanted. Yes, that may sound bad for me to say, but I think that is how lost I was in the past. Now, I believe that disease came by God's grace. I believe at that time, God did not want me to be doing the things that I was doing. I think I was on my way to hell. And I think God was doing things to try to change my path, but I was so determined to do what was wrong that I believe God had to do some really drastic, I guess some drastic things to get me to think or whatever. What is going on in the whole world now? I believe, let me call it Coroni, that condition that is all over the world. I believe it is all over the world or in many places of the world. Now, I think it is preventing many people from doing as much wrong as they normally would. Right? So if you are a woman of the night, a harlot, I don't think you can do as much I don't think you can have as much customers as you once had at least I guess many harlots harlots can't in this time now I think because of how the world is now with that crony out there I think many people can't do as much wrong as they normally would. So a person may say that Coroni, which I am calling it that, some people may say Coroni is of the devil blah 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 it is the devil that is doing this to the world you know having churches shut down blah 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 
But if you think about it, I honestly believe that Caroni has been allowed by God, myself, that disease that I had back then, which I don't have now, it prevented me from doing as much wrong as I wanted. And something else happened to me as well, which I think further decreased as much wrong that I wanted to do, if I am saying that correctly. Some things may seem very, very bad, but I believe those bad things are coming from God to get people to change their paths. You may lose your job. You may get cancer or whatever. Okay. You may, you know, say that it is of the devil that you lost your job. It is of the devil that you got cancer. But look at it, though. Look at it. If you were the type of person, or if you are the type of person who did not regard God, a person who wanted to live your life in your own, in your own way without really paying much or any attention to God, if you was on your way to hell, and that cancer, or by you losing your job, you are paying attention to God now, can you say that bad thing came from the devil? I believe it came from God. Because look at the fruit of it. What outcome did it have? Ultimately, I guess it is kind of making you think about God. Ultimately, I guess it may be drawing you near to God. So if a bad thing makes you draw near to God, oh man, who do you think it came from? I believe much of it came from God. I believe I received that particular disease back then from God. I think some bad things are placed upon us for us to change. So if you are a really rude, mean, selfish person, and if many bad things are happening to you, that is good. Oh man, why do you think I am telling you that? My Lord. Would you rather have God allow you to do whatever you wanted and let's say you want to sin and be rude, be bitter and hateful? Would you rather have God allow you to be that way to where you stay that way, then die, then go to hell afterward. Do you want God to like, hey, you know, do you? Let me just allow you to be the way you are. Let me allow you to destroy yourself. Go to hell. Do you want God to allow you to go to hell without intervening. Do you understand what I am trying to tell you? I believe Coroni, which I call it, 
is a good thing. I believe it is very, very good. Yes, many people have died from it, but I believe Corona is very, very good because I believe it is slowing down people's lives. I believe that disease I had slowed down my life some. Look now. Why fight against God? Kevin, I know to do right, but you only live once, YOLO. Let me have fun while I am young and maybe when I am older, I will serve God. How do you know you will get older? Can't we die at any time? Like, do you have a list somewhere telling you that you are going to die at age 80 or age 75? Can't we die unexpectedly? Man, I believe you are playing around. If you haven't, give your life to God now. Stop playing around. You don't have to play around. Look now. When I was younger, you know, I think some people have in their mind if they live for God, they are going to be missing out on something. What are you missing out on? What, uh, having sex with random people? Stealing, cussing, getting drunk? What are you missing out on? Well, Kevin, if I get saved, I can't have fun. Why do, like, so are only sinful things fun? Like going on a walk, that is not interesting? Traveling, I guess we can't really travel now. Maybe not across country or to another country. But if we are able to do that, that is not fun. Like. I think there are many non-sinful things that are fun. Like, is getting drunk fun? It was not really for me. Not really. You know, I never really liked the taste of hard liquor or beer and the nasty, man. Like, I think I liked some wine coolers and stuff like that, but hard liquor and beer nasty man to me what are you missing out on back in my past I did much wrong and I thought that in my mind I guess I thought that is what I wanted to do Guess what? If I remember correctly, I think I still felt empty. No matter how many women I spoke with or did this or did that with, I believe I still felt empty. I thought, you know, the music I listened to, you know, I thought that there was fulfillment in being in bed with, you know, this woman, that woman, blah, 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 you know, with multiple women. But I still felt empty. I used to cuss folks out. I used to be really, really, really rude, hateful, bitter, but I still felt empty. So let me try something else, which I did. I live for God now. 
I feel so much more fulfilled. I feel fulfilled to where back then I did things I thought I wanted. And honestly, I don't think I had any fulfillment in doing those wrong things. I tried being really, really evil. I tried, I guess, being a player, a player. I tell you what, man, I believe that player stuff will really get you into trouble. I believe um, maybe on TV or whatever, you may only see like the good sides of being a player because you can mess with this woman and mess with that woman. But I tell you what, I believe you will reap what you sow. I probably could do it now, but man, I will not do that again. So let me stop here. I hope this makes sense. God bless you.